Week on Focus Montreal, meet the winner of Hydro-Quebec's Regional Science Fair as she gets set to jet off to L.A. to represent us on the international scene. Well, budding scientists had the chance to show off some of their latest research at John Abbott College recently. The high school and CGEP students presented their science and technology projects to visitors. The participants were competing for awards with a total value of $30,000. 16-year-old Alexandra Cohen of St. George's School won the top prize for her research entitled Ingap Circles Around Diabetes. The science fair is organized by the Educational Alliance for Science and Technology, and it was hosted by John Abbott College. The idea is that to encourage the, the students to get involved in science, stay involved in science, recognize what they can do, and uh, reward them for what they have done. And Alexandra now goes on to represent Canada at the International Science and Engineering Fair in Los Angeles, and she joins me now. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. How exciting is this? Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> the international competition is something that's been a dream of mine for a while now, and I know it's going to be an amazing experience. It's in Los Angeles in May, and it's about 1,600 people from over 70 countries. So wow. it's going to be such a learning experience as well. We have all these symposiums and there's a panel with question and answers with um, Nobel Prize winners. Wow. Which is going to be great. And How? I'm just excited to beat all the different people there. And we all have this common passion for science, so it should be really interesting. How motivating is that? That's so Absolutely. exciting. Tell me about this project that you had, this in-gap circles around diabetes. What was it about and why did you want to do this? Okay, well my project is about a potential new treatment for diabetes. So the current treatment right now is a combination of insulin injections, self-monitoring blood tests, and dietary management. But this is really complicated because it's difficult to achieve the correct balance between high and low blood sugar, and both of those have serious risks. So researchers are looking into different treatment options, and one thing they're looking into is a regeneration therapy called INGAP. And the principal investigator in that is Dr. Lawrence Rosenberg at the Jewish General Hospital. He was my mentor for my project. And what INGAP does is it causes certain stem cell-like cells in the pancreas to transform into the cells that produce insulin. So, so far it's been really effective at regenerating those cells in cell culture, animals, and humans. But the problem is that its half-life is short. So it gets destroyed really quickly by the body and its effects could last longer. So my goal was to try to improve the, long, the length of time that it lasts for, as well as its efficacy. Uh, originally, INGAP is linear in structure but I worked with a circular version of that shape, and I did three different experiments to compare the two, and in all three of my experiments, the circular version of INGAP was significantly better. Wow, are you 16? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do when you're 30? This is so amazing. You said you worked with Dr. Rosenberg on this. Uh, you said he was your mentor, but how excited was he when you discovered this and, and sort of brought it to the table? I definitely think he was very proud. Uh, I enjoyed working with him so much, though. Really, it was so generous of him to give me all of that time and energy to help me. And he also has an amazing team of researchers in his lab who trained me in all of the techniques and supervised me during my research and were there to answer any questions. Wow. So I'm very lucky. There was a cash prize with this, uh, some money, but also the trip to Los Angeles and a scholarship. And uh, you're pretty sure you're going to take advantage of one of the two scholarship opportunities, but one you're going to take, right? Yes, exactly. I have a scholarship for $3,000 to McGill University, which is very exciting for me because I want to go to medical school there eventually. So I'm very excited to take advantage of that in the future. I think we want you to go to medical school there, <laughs> Alexandra. I have a feeling you can make a big difference. What is the, f I mean, you're at St. George's now. Yes. They must be so proud of you for this. Oh yeah, the response has been great there. And I'm so lucky to have had the support of my school and my amazing science teachers, especially. Mm -hmm. What is the future for you? I mean, you're 16, McGill is in the future, but what do you have, I mean, you've got LA coming up. What do you have going on after that? Well, I mean, I definitely plan on continuing to do research with INGAP and with what I've been doing for this project. So I'm hoping to return to the lab this summer and continue with that. And on a lo more long-term basis, I mean, I want to be a doctor. And I also, of course, have this love for research that has really been inspired more by this project. So I hope to do both in the future and combine my love for medicine and working with people and my love for research. Mm, it sounds great. Why diabetes? Why was this a thing that sort of touched you and, and you wanted to work on? Well, I had two main goals in my project. The first one was I really wanted to improve the quality of the lives of people with chronic illnesses in general. 
And then I also had this big interest in stem cells because in ninth grade in my science class at St. George's, we had a presentation on stem cells and I was just fascinated by the way they can actually regenerate damaged tissue and treat diseases. So I started doing readings online about stem cells and I came across the name of Dr. Rosenberg, my mentor. And so I contacted him to meet with him. And when I was doing reading about diabetes, I realized what a prevalent disease it is. I mean, it affects about 285 million people worldwide. So it's a very serious disease. And through this project, I've developed more of a passion for helping people with diabetes. Well, we really hope you continue and we congratulate you, Alexandra. It's a great feat just to win the local competition and now to go on to LA. We wish you luck. Thank you. And you're going to keep us posted and let us know how it goes, right? Absolutely. All right. That is Alexandra Cohen. She is the winner of the Regional Science Fair, now going on to represent Canada in Los Angeles at the international level. And that is Focus Montreal for this weekend. Thanks so much for being with us. Take care, everyone. Good night. And we chit-chat.